Well, you guys, it's almost Mother's Day again, and I wanted to make something for my mom for Mother's Day because honestly, she's she's the best mom. Hate to break it to you, but mine's the best. So I really wanted to make her something, and she loves floral things. She's actually an awesome watercolor painter, and she does tons of flower painting, so I thought, why don't I make her something out of like yarn and felts? Just make it flowery and pretty and fun. So I headed to the craft store to just look around and try to get some inspiration for what I was gonna make. I looked at all the different floral wreath um, frames and whatnot that they had there and I just wasn't finding something that was super exciting to me. But then I saw this. So what I love about this is it's, it's different. It's gonna be different than a wreath. It's gonna allow me to create a bit of a floral arrangement in the center instead of having flowers all the way around something. And I really like this basket detail. I thought it would just be a really fun spring kind of picnic basket or I guess like basket of flowers kind of idea. So let's see what we can create. So I have all these different yarn flowers that I made quite a while ago with our little yarn flower looms. So I'm just trying to sort of like arrange these. I don't know if I'm gonna use these exact ones or not, but I thought it would be a good starting point just to kind of figure out what I wanna do. I'm thinking I wanna add some like leaves with this green felt and make it just feel really bright and springy. To be completely honest, when I sat down to make this piece, I had no idea where I was taking it. I knew I wanted to do something floral and make like some sort of floral arrangement, but I didn't have a clear idea of what that was gonna look like. I don't know what it was about it. I don't know if I just like these yarn flowers better on a woven piece versus a flat piece, but they just, they didn't really feel like the right thing. I know that some of them were just like a little bit too bulky and thick as well, so that might have been part of it. So I started playing around with wool roving and I thought I could make some roving flowers and so I just started making these petal shapes and felting the very ends. But once I started that, I, I quickly realized, I was like, oh my gosh, should I just, should I just felt the whole flower? And ultimately that's the route I went. Of course, I had to make it harder for myself, but because this was a gift for my mom, I just really wanted to put the time and effort to make it look really good, and to me, that's what was looking good. I had really drawn some inspiration from one of my mom's watercolor paintings. She does a lot of floral painting, and then she'll take a fine-tipped black pen, marker pen, and you know, draw in a lot of details, and I really like that look, so that's kind of what I drew from for inspiration for the black on these flower petals. I didn't felt them in very much because I really wanted sort of that wispiness of them to still be really visible, and I was afraid if I felted them in too much that they would just be like stark lines instead of sort of that fuzzy thing that I've got going on here. Um, I felted a middle for it and I, I sort of played around with this trying to felt the entire middle before attaching it to the petals and and then I ultimately just like kind of put a center on them and started felting them together. After I had this big flower done, I was like, I need some leaves. I liked the leaves, but then I was like, oh my gosh, I think these need more detail. So then more needle felting began and I started needle felting in an actual leaf detail with like the veins of the leaves. And I really like the way this look, I felt like it just really elevated the leaves and made them so much more interesting than just plain green felt. And I really wanted this piece to read more as a fiber art style piece and not just like a crafty kind of piece. So once I had a few leaves made, I set the big flower onto the wood piece, put the leaves around it and was just kind of playing around with a layout. And I was like, can I get away with just one big flower and a bunch of leaves? And then once again, I created more work for myself because I was like, it just, it doesn't look like enough. I don't think one flower, you know, it doesn't create this sort of floral arrangement thing that I was going for. So I started felting another flower. This time I wanted to make the flower significantly smaller because I didn't have a ton of space, especially with this big pink flower. So I made this one a lot smaller and I was just honestly kind of winging this. I didn't have a clear plan for this particular flower, but I just, I really love this black wispy detail. I think it looks so good. And again, just elevates that flower and makes it a little bit more interesting. 
So then for the very last flower, I decided to use some already made felt. I picked this up at the craft store. It is completely wool and it was reading so much like the needle felted felt that I was creating that I was like, well, this would make my life a little bit easier. So I decided to use that for the last flower just to save me on a little bit of time. And because it looked so good and actually kind of brought in a slightly different texture because it was a flat felt versus the needle felting I was doing, I was like, this will totally work. This center was a little bit more tricky to add on because of the already felted felt. So I kind of had to add both wool on the top and the bottom of the center so that it would really like stick together and everything. I realized I didn't have quite enough leaves and because this big pink flower was so large, I was like, I should probably make a couple more like larger leaves. So I quickly whipped those up and by quickly, I mean it wasn't actually quick because needle felting, again, I must emphasize, is a very slow process. I think all said and done, this piece took me almost four and a half hours to make. <laughs> So then I was playing around with the layout of the flowers and the leaves and all of that. And then I got looking at the wood and realized that I definitely needed to give the wood a little bit of a sand. So I took everything off of the wood piece and I gave it a good sand down and I like blew off all the dust and then I put everything back on and I started to heat up my hot glue gun. And yes, it is 100% okay to use a hot glue gun. We even were allowed occasionally to use a hot glue gun in art school. But the thing that I was taught about using hot glue on, you know, higher quality things is that you just need to make sure that there's no evidence of that hot glue. Okay, you guys, the piece is all done. I'm so happy with it. I'm so glad I pushed myself and did the needle felting even though it took so long. But now that it's finished, we need to go give this to my mom and see what her reaction is. Okay, let's go. Happy Mother's Day. Hey. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Yay. It's so beautiful. Oh, oh, I just love it. Thank you. You're welcome. It's so great. I can't wait to put it up. It's so spring. Yay. <laughs> Click here to watch our playlist filled with all our other flower videos.